Seven years. Yeah. Pay out real good. Huh? The pay out real good. It's been, yeah, it's been good to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many loads did you get a week? Uh, well, if I come out loaded Sunday and deliver Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It depends if like if I get a real long one, it takes two days, three, four, sometimes five. Uh, oh, five out a week. Yeah, if I deliver Monday, uh -huh. pick uh, deliver Monday, deliver Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and deliver Friday. Mm. So, the average I guess probably four loads a week. Four loads a week. Yeah. So all that combined, how much your your payout? Is? My payout? Yeah, in a week. Well, I bought nine thousand six nine thousand seven hundred dollars to the truck. Uh -huh. This week, uh -huh. I'll probably get probably four. Four. Oh, that ain't bad. That's clue cool, like the spins with the truck and gas too. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, and hey, that's four in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, after man. after the payments, but you know you still got taxes. Yeah, yeah. And I take out fifteen percent. So if I get four thousand, fifteen times four, what's that? Two thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Well, I put that in my uh. Uh, voluntary account. Okay, so what you think about a person just don't, you know, just I don't know, I'm, I got like eight months of trucking now, so what you think I should do if I try to move on to IC? Well, I don't know. Where you live at? I live in uh, Tussles, Alabama. That's a good area because they got a lot of stuff that goes to Jasper and Decatur mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's that's a pretty good little area. I got a, a buddy of mine lives up there in Birmingham mm -hmm. that used to work for Maverick, but he works for uh, Montgomery now because they got a yard right there and all that. But anyways, uh, that's a good that's a good location. In Alabama is it's better than Georgia. It's hard to get something out of Georgia a lot of times. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. What part of Georgia stay? Macon. Macon. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I heard of Macon. I know where that is. Yeah, off of seventy five. Yeah, yeah, I heard of that. Thugville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we went to Carterville to go pick up some loads out there. Yeah, yeah. That's where I, I tried to get. A load out of Cartersville, either going to Tulsa or uh, even better, a shorter run, but it's better because it's, I, I can deliver it the next day. And that's in uh, Blyville, mm -hmm. Mem Memphis area. Mm -hmm. and then I go up to Blyville and get that big coal from JMS and take it out to Tulsa, mm -hmm. come back to Fort Smith and get a load and go to Michigan. Those three loads right there pay enough to cover everything. So you get that pretty much the every week or just depends? I try to. Try to? I try to stay in the west. Uh -huh. That's where all the freight is from Fort Smith to Michigan to uh, Osceola, Blyville, Memphis. Uh -huh. Yeah, I never go to Mississippi or Louisiana. Uh -huh. You ain't getting nothing out of here but lumber. Oh, you don't like lumber? No, hell no. I don't like rolling up them tarps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> almost 63 years old. I'm, I wish I had a, uh, a Conestoga. Yeah, I, I don't like rolling even them steel tarps hardly anymore. Yeah, you still move around, be 63, that good. Yeah, 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 I still all right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. I was really... on the fire department for 26 years. I retired from there for making. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see you got your Georgia hat. They look good as you. Yeah, man. I... Yeah, they, they look, they look, the offense looks better. The defense. Of course, you know you when you get five or six guys going the first round on the defense, yeah. you got to restock it. Yeah. But of course, we got some freshmen that starting, like Malachi at free safety. Yeah. I mean, he's already intercepted two or three passes. I mean, he's just—I ain't never seen a freshman play like that. He's just awesome. We got uh, Big Bear Alexander. He's he's playing on the defensive line. We got a bunch of guys, freshmen, yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll be all right for the next, as long as Kirby's there, yeah, we'll Kirby, be all right. Yeah, yeah, Kirby. Like Saint Nick. Yeah. As long as St. Nick's there, you're going to be yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how much you think I need to save probably just, if I want to get the IC, how much you think I should just save up before I go over here? What you think? What's a good number? Well. Based on, you know, what we're going through right now. Recession. I wouldn't do it right now. You wouldn't do it right now? like March or April. Oh, this bad time to get in the IC? Huh? That's, that's bad time. Mm -hmm. So, I, if I was you, I'd wait till March or April. Mm -hmm. uh, and then say, you don't have to have uh, that much money. I mean, uh, and you're not gonna make as much money at first because first, they're gonna take out money for your equipment mm -hmm. and uh, take out money for your, uh, your uh, maintenance account. Mm -hmm. And then, there's another little account you got to get up to 2000 they quit taking that out to my escrow 
Well, yes, yeah, so some time a security deposit. Oh, something. security deposit. Okay. So mm -hmm. after the, you get all that paid off, you start seeing more money. Mm -hmm. But uh, at first, you're not going to see what you think you're going to see because of all the stuff. But once you get the twenty thousand dollars in your uh, maintenance account, then they quit taking that fifteen percent out. Mm -hmm. And then once you pay off your equipment, then that money. Well, I don't know how much they take out for equipment every week, but after that, you'll start getting that too. So that's a, an extra seven hundred dollars or so. Uh huh. So, but 